Oh, what's going on, everybody? Well, we are, uh, we got a trip down to Louisiana planned here soon. Shoot, less than two weeks now. Um, so we've been tying up some big giant flies, big big redfish flies. So I figure I'll make a video for y'all and kind of you know, show you what, what I've been tying up and some good patterns for down there. Basically down there, you're trying to, you're trying to move water. A lot of that water's dirty and you're just trying to throw dark patterns or vibrant patterns, something that's just gonna push a lot of water, make some noise, make those fish hear it, see it, and then, uh, you know, come grab it. So let's check it out. This is a, uh, so I'm tying it on a SC15 2H three yacht hook. It's probably backwards for y'all, but. <laughs> Alrighty, start with uh, some 210 chartreuse, 210 denier, chartreuse thread. And uh, we're gonna be using a bunny tail off the back of this. Whenever you're using bunny, you really want to put in a little mono guard to help it from fouling around itself. We call it a, turns into a bunny ball is what they'll call it. And just get you a nice long strip of that zonker fur. That's probably three, four inches. Wrap that back. to do here poke a hole right through your bunny Thread that up through that hole you just made. Try to move all those fibers around. There you go. And then just get that tied back down. You can see that kind of keeps that that tail a little further away from the hook and keep it from fouling around itself. All right, so you got that on. So now somewhere, all you need right here is just some kind of accent. You can use, you know, you can use a, a fox, foxy brush, or not brush, foxy uh, tail. What I'm gonna use is I have these shrimp eyes. So when you're using shrimp, you'll put like, you know, one of those off the back, looks like antenna. But for these, I'll grab a whole bunch of them. I'll put these coming out the back. They're light and just have good movement. So double those over.
can see how those just kind of flail and they'll be hanging you know this is the underside right here so they'll be hanging down just good movement in the water so now i'm going to put some eyes on there and i'm using some big dumbbell eyes you know this fly is going to have some some deer belly hair on it so it's going to that adds a little bit of buoyancy to the fly so you want some big giant eyes and these are double pupil eyes just size large um you know some of the biggest dumbbell eyes you'll find at the fly shop normally We're just going to continue to continue to make the body here. I'm going to wrap some some hackle feathers <clears throat> around it. do some good ones Go ahead and palmer that around. all pushed back just kind of clean up a bit now we're going to add in some some legs we're just going to use these orange legs kind of orange and orange and brown don't stress about silly legs All right. Now, after that, you could use another feather, or you know, you could use some more of that hackle feather. Um, I'm just going to use some brush now to continue that body. Um, actually, we're going to use some of this. This is kind of some foxy brush with some nice flash, and you can see that flash there. But yeah, this is just an uh, inch and a half foxy brush. The Senyo Chromatic, I think it's called. But again, not super important. Use something dark, kind of match the theme of your fly. Use what you got. Those fibers get stuck under each other.
we just got to build a head. We're going to do that out of uh, some deer belly hair. We're going to do purple here. You know what I did forget? I forgot to put some flash in this one, so <laughs> you'd put some flash in there if you want. This will still work just fine. It's big and dark and they're gonna see it no matter what, but yeah, you can put some flash in there too. Usually I do. You can see there's flash in that one, but this will be flashless, which is all right. You got that flash in that, in that foxy brush I put on there and all good. All right, so if you haven't spun deer hair, maybe practice a few times <laughs> on some on some flies. Just keep practicing, cut it off, do it again, uh, make a huge mess, clean it up, do it again. It gets everywhere, and it takes a you know it takes a minute to kind of figure out how this crap works. Lots of good videos on here as well on YouTube telling you how to, showing you how to spin it. And... All right. I like to give it two. Pull down and wrap. See if we can salvage it. Yeah, yeah, just fine. So we're gonna try to push that back if we can. Keep pulling all that back, trying to get some wraps behind it. It's gonna look pretty, pretty burly right now, but we're gonna go back in and shape it with the razor. See, and I jacked up that, that wrap and it still came out just fine. All right, so that's what you're left with. Big giant mess of fur and going everywhere. Get ironed out a little bit. And we come in with our razor. These things dull out quick, so don't be shy about just grabbing a new one. I'm just gonna do it right here in front of the camera and get covered in it. Just kind of tapering that back. There it is. Big 
giant bull redfish fly. Can push a lot of water. Make some noise. They're going to see that. Give it a try. 